What do you say, fellas? This is Scott McKay from X and Y Communications, and I've got another video newsletter for you. Once again, we went to Facebook for the topic of today's video newsletter, which is what do women mean when they say they want a guy who's emotionally available? Man, every single one of us has heard that before, and every single one of us has probably wondered what in tarnation women mean by that. Well, here, look. If you go to Facebook and check out this thread, you'll notice, just like I did, that women even admit they have no idea what they mean by emotionally available. But you know what? It's my job, so I'm going to take a stab at it anyway. Here's what I think. I think emotional availability, as defined by women, which is the definition we're looking for here, is actually a suite of a couple different things mishmashed together in a woman's mind. But it doesn't have to be as complicated as it sounds. What I think, first of all, is that when a woman is looking for emotional availability from a man, she's looking for a guy who is available to basically be a sounding board for her emotions. She's looking for a guy who can understand what's in her heart and indeed what's on her mind and not only be a good listener, remember how women harp on listening, but also be able to kind of give her feedback that he understands and can kind of, uh, I guess, empathize or sympathize with what she's feeling. Women want to be listened to. Why? Well, because you're supposed to be the provider and protector. If you don't know what her needs are, if you don't know what her best interests are, how can you be a provider and a protector? We're not talking here about handing her whatever she wants on a silver platter. We're talking about knowing how to be the man who provides for what's best for both you and her and maybe a potential family someday in a relationship. So it's very important to women that you can decipher their emotions and kind of let them know that you're on board. But more importantly, I think because women want a man who they can relate to at the emotional level, she needs to know that your emotions are available to her. That, I think, is an even more important part of the equation. You see, women don't want Mr. Spock. They want to know what's on your mind. They want you to tell them if you're happy. And, more importantly, whether you're happy with her or not. Are you frustrated in general? Or are you frustrated with her? Is it the day at work that kind of caused you to be down? Or is she doing something that's making you feel a little bit down today? You see, when women love us and they respect us, heck, even if they like us, they want to follow our lead of giving something nice to them and give us something nice in return. That's the way a great woman is. That's the way it should be. If she doesn't know how to read your feelings, then she can't know how to bring you comfort, happiness, and joy. Therefore, if you're not emotionally available to a woman, meaning your emotions aren't available to her, She's lost and she's confused and she doesn't know how to act. She doesn't even really know how to read you. Therefore, she doesn't know when the shoe's going to drop and you're just going to be mad and angry or leave. She doesn't know what's going on in your head. She's just really, really insecure. Aha! If a woman is insecure and she's not feeling good about a situation, she feels like she's on kind of slippery slope or, or shifting sand instead of a solid rock, well then, she's not going to feel safe and secure in your presence. That's one of the big four, gentlemen. If you're not emotionally available, she's not going to have the toolkit by which she can fix how well she feels around you, or how not well she feels around you, I should say. Emotional availability, this is pretty important because see now, you're talking about whether you're seen in her eyes as a provider and a protector, and indeed at a more pragmatic level, whether she's seeing you as someone she feels comfortable with or not. Emotional availability. Um, I think there is one more little piece that sort of gets tacked on, kind of like a trailer to a truck here, with emotional availability, and that's this whole idea of baggage. Are you not over your ex yet? Are you still wrapped up in something else? Are you so focused on work that all of your emotions go into work and there's not really a whole lot of you left to give to this woman? Um, maybe even parenthood, although I wouldn't think that a woman would count it against you to put your children first. Some might. Some might think of that as emotional availability. But I would say that that's 
not the right way to think on her part. But whatever she's seeing as something that's going to sap or draw your emotions away from what you could theoretically give to her, especially relative to what she's, she's expecting or what she's seen in the past from other guys, that is going to all add up into this whole puzzle of emotional availability that we're trying to figure it out here. So I um, hope that all uh, explains it to you a little bit. I mean, if anything, we're less cloudy on it now than we were before. And uh, hmm, big subject to tackle. Both guys and gals, if you have anything to add or you think I got it right or you think I totally messed it up, you can go ahead and tell me on Facebook at www.facebook.com front slash Scott and Emily. That's S-C-O-T-A-N-D-E-M-I-L-Y. Or you can email me, scott at deservewhatyouwant.com. And remember, 1T and Scott. Until I talk to you again real soon, this is Scott McKay from X and Y Communications. Be good out there.